Zelda! Yeah, folks! We're talking Zelda! I got my Zelda shirt! Oh, get that track force going! I, I, I literally can't do that hand thing. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited to have another Zelda video for you all. Um, we're going to be talking about... <clears throat> I'm going to stand up for this video because you know what? I'm too excited. I'm too hyped. And the camera focuses a little better. So here's the thing. In this video, I'm going to be recapping all of the Zelda rumors uh, that I have heard and talked about over the past week because there's been a lot of stuff happening potentially for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So before I get into it, we are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox digital gift cards. So three total winners this month. Head on to the description of the pinned comment to enter. Now, here's the deal. I love me some Zelda. And I'm super excited to kind of recap all of the rumors and stuff for you guys because I know it can be hard to kind of follow along when there's so many different videos. So let's just throw this all together into one. For starters, what do we know for Zelda's 35th anniversary? Well, we know Skyward Sword HD is coming. July 16th, we're getting themed Joy-Con, has Amiibo support. We're not sure what that Amiibo support is. We're not sure if there's new content in the game, but we do know that we are getting that game. Fact, done, story, okay? We also know that uh, we're going to get some news, probably a trailer, but definitely news on Breath of the Wild 2 before the end of this year because A.G. Anoma told us when he announced Skyward Sword HD that we could expect Breath of the Wild 2 news later this year, so... Good stuff. Uh, next is all kind of rumors at this point. These are things that have been floating out there on the internet that I've previously reported on, and I will link to all of the videos I've talked about this before, but a lot of it centers around Grezzo, although not everything. As an example, a themed Zelda Switch is supposedly in the works. Not sure if it's a Switch Pro, regular Switch, or a Lite, but supposedly a themed Switch is in the works. Now, surprising, they did do it for, for Mario's 35th anniversary. Hello, that red themed Switch. Uh, beyond all that, we know about a bunch of merch that's supposedly going to be coming. I mean, Nintendo's always releasing a bunch of merch, so a bunch of Zelda merch isn't too surprising. I mean, what if one of the Zelda merches was a Zelda Lego set? Can you imagine a Zelda Lego set officially? You know, we have Mario. Why not Zelda? It makes a lot of sense to me. But beyond all of that, we have been told in various rumors that we need to be looking towards Grezzo. Grezzo is a company that has traditionally always had at least two Zelda projects in the works at once. And the last one they had that released was Link's Awakening back in 2019. Now, we know that Grezzo is also the company that has ported in HD Metopia that's releasing this summer. So that game's probably already done and proves that Grezzo has the ability to port games from the 3DS into HD on Switch. And the thing is, Grezzo worked on two previous remakes in Zelda series known as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D. And when they made those games, they actually created HD assets uh, and then downsampled them to 240p for the 3DS. So we actually can maybe even expect Ocarina of Time HD and Majora's Mess HD to come over. So those are a couple games out there that are rumored Grezzo's bringing over. Grezzo is also factually hiring right now for a new Zelda game. So because they're hiring, that leads to speculation of what they could be doing next, what they could be porting next, bringing next, etc. Rumors are out there as well because they created that Link's Awakening engine, supposedly an Unreal Engine 4, uh, that they are going to apply that engine to the Oracle series. So Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons in HD on Switch. Now, I personally am not really so sure I'm sold on that. Grezzo's not doing four Zelda games at once. I, I, I just don't foresee that being possible. So if we could only pick two out of these four, games they've already worked on and already have the assets for seem like a lot more sense to me and seem like really easy for Nintendo to tell Grezzo to just bring them on over, whether in a dual pack or a Zelda collection pack or whatever the case might be. Speaking of Zelda collection packs... The Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD are supposedly coming over as well. So we need to uh, consider that those sources for that are publicly known. They come from Tom Phillips and another major uh, guy out there. I forget his name. I don't know if it was Chris Cole. It was someone, another major media person basically said, look, we're getting the Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD this year, uh, probably coming after Skyward Sword HD this summer. I think they're going to let Skyward Sword HD have a runway. So here's the thing. I think that we could really expect... A lot of this information to probably come true. Zelda's 35th anniversary is going to be really stretched out by Nintendo. We're talking, yeah, they're going to celebrate it this year. 
But expect half of 2022 dedicated to it as well. In the past, we've had Zelda concerts and other things happen that extended for years and years and years. So Nintendo is going to milk the hell out of Zelda's anniversary to get a lot of money. Somewhere in there is probably Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know if it's this year. I don't know if it's next year. There's rumors the Switch Pro is attached to Breath of the Wild 2. So whenever Breath of the Wild 2 lands, there's one Switch Pro is also landing. So there's just been a lot of rumors circulating about this anniversary. And I think a lot of us at this point just want to know what's going to happen. But I'm here to tell you, we're not going to find out until after Skyward Sword HD comes out. So when June, right, is it July? July 16th gets here. Expect Zelda to do a Zelda Direct or Nintendo to do a Zelda Direct sometime in August. Uh, doing it then allows a full month runway for Skyward Sword HD to maximize its launch sales and then potentially gain a second tier of sales if we get something with Breath of the Wild 2 that teases aspects from Breath of the, from Skyward Sword. As an example, uh, there's been a tease in Breath of the Wild about Fee, Fi, whatever her name is, returning uh, from Skyward Sword already. So if we get a bigger tease like that in a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, that's only going to further enhance Skyward Sword sales as a bunch of Breath of the Wild fans are going to be like, what the hell? How's this connection work? We need to go buy Skyward Sword HD to find out. So I want to preface this all by saying we're not going to hear anything about the anniversary for a while. We're just not. Uh, beyond that, I think here's what you should expect. You should expect a Zelda themed switch okay we're getting skyward sword themed joy cons but a full-on zelda themed switch probably based around breath of the wild 2 expect it it's probably going to happen whether or not it's gold trimming just a complete color swap palette i don't know because that's what they did for mario but expect that all right expect the wind waker and twilight princess hd in addition to skyward sword hd likely as individual releases although we can always hope they're packed together maybe even as limited releases. Nintendo likes this limited release thing. It worked, quote unquote, worked for Mario. So I don't know. I don't want to see them do it, but whatever, they probably will. So expect those three games and Breath of the Wild 2 showing off at some point and then releasing probably 2022, uh, maybe recapping everything or, or capping off the 35th anniversary or something. I don't know. All right, beyond that, Ocarina of Time HD, Majora's Mask HD. I think it's reasonable to expect those games coming. In fact, what would be really, really cool is if Nintendo decided to do a four-pack collector's edition, uh, including the Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, Ocarina of Time HD, and Majora's Mask HD, uh, and if they sold it for like 80 bucks, they're not going to sell something like that for 60, right? It's going to be 80, it's going to be 100, whatever, anywhere from 100 on down, limited release, I think is going to end up seeing a shitload of sales literally they could get away with that 99 dollars price point with those four games included those are four massive zelda games all in hd two of them obviously ported probably just almost straight ports but yeah some, some ui changes over from the wii u so i honestly think that uh that is something we could realistically expect to occur um i don't think oracle games i know i really love the oracle games oracle of ages and oracle of seasons are amazing games just like i would love to see zelda 2 remade and zelda 1 and uh, a Link to the Past come back. They can even use like the Olympic Between Worlds engine, but put it in HD. Like, There's a lot of things I would like to see them do. And Nintendo might have crazy other things like a Zelda 35 in the works or a Zelda Dungeon Maker in the works. Like, Technically, even though Mario's 35th anniversary ends this month with the removal of games, kind of a sour ending, we're getting Mario Golf in a couple months. So like, it doesn't really feel like Mario is ending. Then again, Mario always comes out, and Zelda, we had Hyrule Warriors last year, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, we had Link's Awakening the year before, what are those anniversary years? So Nintendo always has Zelda stuff coming every year anyways, they've almost mario est the Zelda series, not quite as many spin-offs, of course, Hyrule Warriors being one, uh, not quite as many spin-offs per se, but still, they're trying to get something Zelda out every year, dropping a bunch of Zelda games, say, anywhere from four to six Zelda games over the next 18 months, I don't think that that's too crazy. So that a lot of them are games like The Wind Maker HD and Scarlet Sword HD that already exist, and Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask can be straight up 3DS HD ports like Miitopia, so... A lot? Yes. Exciting for some? Absolutely. Uh, am I about to spend a shitload of money on Zelda? Yeah. 
Am I probably going to end up buying a Zelda-themed Switch only for a Switch Pro to come out two months later? Probably. And then I'll buy that too. <laughs> anyway, maybe maybe they'll be like similar enough design that I could swap some of the plates. Like take off some of the Zelda plates and put them on the Switch Pro. You know, Zelda eyes the Switch Pro. That Maybe that's something I should do. Zelda theme my Switch Pro. I don't, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance. It's a lot of Zelda stuff. What do you think's happening? I want to know. This is all just rumors and speculation and hope. A lot of hope. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.